Where does Arthur take Prin Prin when they go out on the town? To a night club. Welcome to the stream tonight. Tonight's stream called Good, Bad, and Ugly Games. We're going to start off with a good game, a great game, my favorite game, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Hopefully we'll make it through it. I'm fairly confident that I can win, but there's always the chance that I could, uh, I could choke pretty hard. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. We're going to set our difficulty to professional. We're going to leave our lives at the stock standard three. We'll add a bit of a drama to our proceedings. With only the with only the three lives, it is possible we could run out of continues. Hopefully it won't come to that. Go ahead and let the suspenseful beginning play out. journey begins. Alright, got the knife right off the bat. It's a good way to start things out. Fireball. And let's get some. What weapon was that? Crossbow. Let's get the gold armor. I think I always forget that the dragon doesn't quite go low enough from that point to take that guy out. Let's grab a money bag. Head indoors. It's very important that I grab as many money bags as I can. The continue system is connected to the money bags. Basically, you earn an extra, an extra continue every so many that you collect. And on professional difficulty, it takes something like 30, 32, I think, money bags to earn a continue. Oh no. Oh no, that was bad. I thought I was going to fit in there. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. oh no! We lost our first life really early. pick up this fire. The fire is actually uh, a pretty bad weapon, but I mean, all of the weapons except the knife are pretty bad weapons, but I kind of like it anyway. So we'll play with it for a while. Oh, 
Oh, it took off my shield. You gotta, you gotta love that slowdown. So I played this game on stream last month, and we actually had a really good run through of it then. Um, I got a one credit clear, which I'd never done before. I don't expect to replicate that success tonight. That was kind of a kind of a lucky freak accident. But if you hang out around my streams long enough, you're bound to see this game time and time again because I just keep coming back to it whoa I gotta pick up the knife here I would have kept the fire for longer but the knife was just in my way so all right let's get past that there aren't a um, there aren't a lot of differences I feel in the game um, between the different difficulty levels that you can select like, some enemies respawn, uh, some of the random enemies spawn a little more frequently, and they move a little faster. The bosses have more health, but that's really not much of an issue until the end of the second loop. And a couple of the stage hazards move more quickly, like those tumbling skulls. I feel like they move a lot more quickly on a on professional difficulty. There's also some swinging axes on stage two. I feel like they swing a lot more quickly on professional difficulty. Could all be in my mind. All of this could, all of this could be, could be false information, but it feels like it's true. There's a chest. I didn't want to open the chest out there on the um, stone pillar because that chest is frequently a bear trap. There can be other things, but I feel like more often than not, it's a bear trap. There we go. That's what I was opening them for. I wanted another shield. The, the uh, upgraded shield. Now I feel like that... Whoa, no. Oh, no. That was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> Sorry, that chest out on the stone pillar. I don't know. It just... A bear trap comes out of there pretty often, and it's very difficult to jump around, if not impossible to jump around. There's a there's a bear trap right there, so I can't get that uh that money bag. That's a shame. All right, let's see if I can preserve our life here. Take a key for coming in. One boss down, and we're on our way. These, these ghosts can be tr can be quite troublesome. They're a problem on this stage, and they show up again at the end. And they're really a problem when they show up at the end. Uh, let's see if I can get this money bag. Whoa! Oh no! Oh, I thought we were gonna lose our armor for sure. I can't believe I made it out of there.
I'm going to give you a heads up. This auto scrolling section is filled with very bright flashing lights. So if that's something that you are sensitive to, you're going to want to watch this next, uh, this next portion of this stage cautiously. They happen pretty frequently and they're going to happen pretty much all throughout the rest of the stage once they get rolling. Alright, let's try to avoid this axe. <laughs> It was a shame to die so early on the first stage. It will really be a shame if I die on this stage. <laughs> this auto-scrolling section is really long, and it's a major bummer to have to repeat this. So I'm going to try my very best to not let that happen, but I can only, I can only guarantee so much. Use our iframes to get through this obstacle. Not, it's not a lot going on in this half of the auto scroller. We got a lot of downtime to sit and contemplate. the boss. I think this boss is really tough. I find him to be one of the hardest one of the hardest parts of the game. <laughs> I, I know it looked like he went down really easily, and and he can. He can if you get the drop on him like that, but if he starts to, um, he shoots out these uh, shell projectiles across the stream, uh, across the stream, across the screen, and if he starts to do that, they're very difficult to avoid. But we got really lucky with him. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to resist spawning um, all the chests, even when I don't need them. It just becomes such an ingrained part of the way that I go through the game. If 
Hey there, Jelly. Yeah, early stream tonight. I saw no one was, uh... There was no one in the category for my favorite game, so I had to show it some love. What was tonight's joke? You want me to repeat it? You could just rewind the VOD. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh no, I missed him. Oh no, I missed him. Let's try again. There we go. He'll follow you. He'll follow you way through this level. He eventually, he'll eventually give up if you can survive that long, but... That's a pretty big if. Alright, I'll repeat the I'll repeat the joke for for you. Um It was um Where does Arthur take Prin Prin when they go out on the town? To a night club. Now anyone else watching has had to suffer through that twice. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh no, I got knocked onto a, I got knocked onto a uh, crossbow. It's okay. The crossbow is not that bad of a weapon. I think I feel like a lot of people hate it, but it's okay. It's got kind of a weird trajectory, but it can fire real fast. Knife's better, though. I really don't like going through this part of the stage of my boxers, because these guys, so many of them, fall down, and toward the end of this tower, they're going to fall from off-screen. And so that can make... Oh, no, I really don't want that lance. That can make your life not good. Is he going to fire stones up in the air? Hopefully we can take him out this cycle. Oh no! I'll just keep moving to the left until he's gone. Speaking of which...
There's that axe again. Oh no. Should be armor. All right. I don't know. I'm messing around, having a hard time on these. Uh, having a hard time on these stairs for some reason. Oh no! I should have just left him alone. there. There we go. The world is a very, very scary place when you don't have your armor. not sure exactly how to make that uh, chest that I just opened. Not exactly sure how to make that reliably appear. I have difficulty spawning that one. And this one. There it is. Alright, I want that armor. Here's our second auto-scroller. This part's kind of tricky, and the timing of uh, the enemies and hazards is can be can be really weird and unreliable. So this is a this is a part of the game where it's really easy to get trapped um, in a cycle of just dying over and over and over again. And the worst part about that is this area has no money bags, so you can't you can't earn continues here. Well, you get stuck here long enough. This is a this is a place where you can definitely game over. Oh no. Oh no. That's what makes this part really rough too, is the uh the hazards can knock you off that little platform there. I feel like you usually get the the, the best slash most reliable um, cycle on the hazards in this area if you uh, stand toward the front of your platform. Oh no. Woo. Didn't think I got turned around quickly enough. Okay, please stop. boss. I 
This boss is the master of slowdown. Alright, we got him. First cycle. We go from the gnarliest level in the game to the most beautiful level in the game. These flowers are an enemy I really don't like messing with. They can fire their projectile out in all sorts of inconvenient directions. Oh no. I didn't I didn't take him out fast enough and he got me. Hopefully we can at least make it to the checkpoint. I think there's a chest in this area as well, but I'm not sure how to spawn it, and it's a big risk with all these with all of these ice snakes everywhere. That's not there. Okay, now we gotta get past this red devil and we gotta cross the checkpoint before he gets us. Run! Run to the checkpoint! Alright. Now if he takes us out, it doesn't matter. Oh no! <laughs> that was a bad situation. That was a bad situation to be in. But now we don't have to deal with the Red Devil this time around, so. We should fare much better. Avalanches rolling through town. That jump makes me so nervous.
All right, another boss down. Take a key for coming in. Alright, I'm uh, unfortunately in a not great situation to uh, have to fight these guys with the uh, dagger without gold armor. That's uh, kind of difficult since it doesn't move at a very useful trajectory. Actually, I should have seen what was in this... Uh... Well... <laughs> It wouldn't have been a magician before. It would have been a it would have been a weapon, but then I wasn't thinking. I lost my armor. You lose your armor. The game usually punishes you by making the next chest you open a magician. Not always, but usually. Oh no. Could be stuck here for a little while. Nope, don't want that. Part of why I had such a uh, great run the last time I played this game was because I uh, preserved the gold armor when I came here. And with the gold armor and the dagger, you can cast the dragon magic, and it's pretty easy to take these guys out with that. But just the plain dagger, things are much more difficult. All right. I went not so bad, though. We'll probably make it through now. Just kind of line yourself up and let the dragon do all the work. Doki. Oh no, I fired that at a bad time. Those little, um, those little fairies that fly around are way more dangerous than these bird heads. What? I missed him. All 
Okay, now the ghosts are going to make their return. This section's really difficult to get through without getting hit. Oh no! You can jump over those chests without um, taking them out, but I have really bad luck with it, so I don't bother. I don't bother trying. I usually end up getting myself hit. And that last jump that I made to the top of that ladder, I usually don't make that jump either. I got really lucky there. Let's use a little bit of magic on this guy. There we go. Let's try a little bit more. Nice. All right, and his big brother. I missed. This guy, look at that. He's just got, he's got fire for days. <laughs> Will you cut it out, man? We got tons of time, so I don't really want to take any unnecessary risks. That's loop one. Now the princess is going to talk to us very, very slowly. Oh, Arthur, I'm so glad you came to help me, but not even you can defeat that fiend Sardius without the goddess bracelet. I once wore the bracelet, and that's why I was attacked and captured by the demons. I barely managed to hide it on the way here. Please, Arthur, come back here with the bracelet and release me. You are my only hope. Second verse, same as the first. Oh, first chest starts us out with a magician. What a greeting. There's the bracelet. The bracelet's very powerful but very difficult to use, so we won't be picking it up until the absolute end of the game. Interesting, the uh, dragon didn't kill that zombie. Wasn't high enough. I thought for sure he was going to hit me. Oh, 
Oh, speaking of getting hit. The magician got me. Try not to get wiped out by these skulls again. Um, wow. Oh no. Sure wish I knew what was in that chest. Another magician. I think that makes three magicians I've run across on this stage now. Ah, finally some armor. More armor? No! Plain armor this time. It's better than boxers. Finally, a chest with some armor in it. I think there's a chest over here. Yeah. I don't usually, uh, I don't usually spawn this one. Glad I didn't run into that axe. Oh no. It's going so fast. I don't usually bother going over there for that one either. I'm going to skip that money bag this time. Run! Woo. I don't really like skipping any money bags, but I want to preserve our... Uh, I want to do everything I can to preserve our gold armor.
case you're just joining us, I'll reiter reiterate. There is a uh, bright flashing light warning for uh, the entire second half of this level. So watch cautiously if you're sensitive to that. That's the worst of the hazards, but we can always be taken by surprise at any moment. for the storm as we approach the boss. Oh no! Oh no, my dragon! My dragon did nothing. Oh no! And I immediately got hit! This is the worst way we could have possibly started! We're on the ropes now! Oh no! Oh no, the worst place to die. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Now we got to go through the whole stage again. Woo! It's okay. We'll do it carefully. We'll pick our gold armor back up. We'll do better this time. Just gonna stay away from that site.
I'm really glad that the basket that fish was carrying didn't have a weapon in it because it would have been really difficult to avoid. gonna say I'm not entirely sure what makes this chest appear but I got lucky and it was already here All right I can see this boss he is embarrassed about how easily we beat him on loop one because he really He's really not playing this time. He started. He started firing seashells right away. Unfortunately, I'm just not sure exactly where the best place to stand to use the dragic, dragon magic on him is. I think it's about here. There we go. Look at that. Again, he's, he's starting off with the seashells right away. Usually it takes him a couple minutes, well, a couple seconds to start firing them. <sighs> Whoa. Oh no! I landed on one! Woo! But we got rid of him. Alright. No repeat disasters, please. pretty tough to manipulate that guy's fire without getting hit so that you can get that chest. I don't always have great luck there. Oh no! Speaking of not having great luck. Hey! I'll take that. What is he doing? Whoa. 
There we go. Don't swoop down on me. No, don't do that. I didn't actually want to battle him. I, I just wanted to sneak past him to the checkpoint, but at least we survived. Jumping for the money bags on these moving platforms always makes me nervous. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to open this or not. It was a bad idea. Um, I don't really want this crossbow, but I also don't want to take the risks that come with jumping over it, so. Crossbow it is. Oh no, look at this. This weapon is terrible. Okay. Oh, man. Give us something good. Oh, no. Oh, no. These are both just... Just awful bottom tier weapons. I thought for sure that blue guy was going to hit me. Oh no. The, the thing about the thing about the axe is I feel like the upgrade actually kind of makes it worse. I don't really notice that big of an increase in strength and its trajectory just becomes nightmarish to aim. Oh no. Oh no. I got hit. So many of these blue guys.
couldn't actually tell if that was if, if that was hitting him or not. Okay, where's this chest? There it is. Oh no! Man, I, I really, I really don't want to die, but I also don't want to have to go through the rest of this level with this weapon. <laughs> oh man, this could be, this could be dreadful. This could be where it all ends. I thought the slowdown was bad before. Oh, coming here with the axe. That may be the first time I've ever seen him do his uh, secondary attack with all three pieces. I don't think I've ever done this battle with the axe before. Why would you? Oh, please don't get hit. Glad to be out of there. Yuck, what is that? Why, why, why is it only offering me the scythe now? Like, you will have a horrible weapon or no weapon at all. I'm going to be able to get rid of this. I mean, I suppose if I get hit. But it's a long time before I get to the next, before I get to the next chest. Oh, no. <laughs> if I get to the next chest. Whoa, doing it with the, getting through all this with this 
with this axe is going to be not easy. I cannot believe that it takes two axes to knock down these ice snakes. That is so cruel. There we go. If this is a scythe, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, 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 oh I'm angry. <laughs> That is not right. Oh, that should be illegal. And I got hit. Right, there we go there goes our first credit we got eight or nine left I I can't actually tell it's cut off on my on my screen Yeah, this weapon's terrible too, but it's not as bad as what I had. At least I can throw two of them at once. I could. I could. When you upgrade the lance, it, it's a downgrade because now I can only throw one. <laughs> I don't know why so many of the weapons of this game are like that, that upgrading them makes them worse.
Whew. Thank goodness. I don't think I was going to survive him that much longer. Will it be something I can use? Ugh. It's absolutely terrible. I don't I don't actually know which is worse right now. The axe is, I believe, slightly stronger than the lance, but I'm much less familiar with uh, the feel of using it. What kind of an arc was that? There we go. Oh, something. Something decent. Not that it's that much easier to fight, again, with the, the regular dagger, with, only, with its only horizontal movement. Oh, I'm having having some uh, having some rough times tonight. Seven continues. I've activated both of them. Their situation is bleak. What am I supposed to do? I'm in a terrible situation. The game is laughing at me now. Here we go, something we can use. See, look at that. Why do people hate the crossbow? The crossbow is excellent in a few very specific situations.
Got lucky there. There we go. Things are turning around now. Okay, here we go, loop two, final stage, this is where the game begins. So we've had some rough times tonight, my friends. I gotta let you know, the roughest times are all ahead of us, 100%. This last stage, this is no joke. Defeating the bosses at the end of this stage with the weapon you're forced to use is extraordinarily difficult. I could very well get uh, boxed out here and um, and end up burning through all of my lives. So. so we may be here for a while and we may go through a lot of suffering. So here's the bracelet. It doesn't have a magic ability, so we can't take use of we can't make use of any iframes. If you're wearing the gold armor, it's a pretty good weapon. But it uh it's power and it's uh range are both dependent on the level of armor you have. With gold armor, it's pretty good. But if I get hit, it becomes really bad. Also with gold armor, it can eat through it can it can eat some enemy projectiles for you, which is nice. Okay, this battle is extraordinarily difficult with this weapon. Thank you. 
That was really risky. I shouldn't behave like that. Oh my goodness, come on. Stop at the fire, man. Oh, his ice attack regenerated real quick. Get away from the corner. All right, we got him. Oh, we got him on the first try. I don't think I've ever done that. I know I haven't. Oh, that was nice. That was a victory all in, in uh, all in and of itself. Made all the lives we uh, lost and all the terrible weapons we picked up worth it. Now, compared to everything else, this guy is pretty easy. He's more of a victory lap than a final challenge. goes all right we did it we beat him with our golden armor look at us we're so studly No one ever imagined that the princess's bracelet was such a powerful magical weapon. Even the princess herself was wearing it as ordinary jewelry. Unaware of its magical properties. She only learned the true power of the bracelet when captured by the demons. and barely hit it in time. Finally, with the help of the bracelet, Arthur defeated the demons. They will never arise to menace peace-loving people again.
All right, my friends, what a journey. That may be the fastest I've ever beaten that game. I'm not sure. This, that game, this game. I'm not sure. I know that my, uh, my best time is around an hour and a half, and that was just at an hour and a half. Um, just under, I believe, since it took me, uh, took me a little while to get rolling at the start of the screen. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, by no means the cleanest run through the game. But I'll take it. What matters most is that, like always, we had a good time. So we have hopefully more good times ahead. I've got a couple other, uh, couple other games picked out. So while the uh, while the credits are rolling, I'm gonna take a BRB and stretch my legs and start getting the uh, next game set up. So if you want to hang around and uh, enjoy the credit roll, I'll see you again after that with uh, something different. Thank you. 